Hey guys, it's Katie again. This video is the third in a series about what causes weight fluctuations. So make sure you go watch the videos preceding this so you understand what we're talking about and then hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. Obviously the timing of your meal affects you, but have you noticed stress? causing an effect. Yeah. Because you know, we, you and I, we both experience stress, a lot of stress. Yeah. More than the average person maybe. Mm -hmm. So I think we'd be good guinea pigs for that. Um, I mean, it's hard to say. I think it's hard to sort of separate what like a low stress day is with a high stress day. True. I think we just kind of experience chronic stress yeah. over time. And I guess it's also hard to say. I had a client who was a nurse. So okay. she, she would have these really bad nights like at the hospital where she was super stressed out, but also at the same time, she would get less sleep that night. So you're combining two different variables, getting less sleep, yeah. which usually happens when you're stressed out is that you're also getting less sleep. So is it the sleep that's affecting weight more or is it the stress? Yeah. I would tend to think it's the sleep personally, mm -hmm. but you know, maybe they both can. I've yeah. anecdotal. And again, they're not mutually this. exclusive. They, all, they, all, they affect each other. Right. Your body doesn't operate like your cardiovascular system is doing its own thing and then like your digestive systems like they all work, work in concert sort of mm -hmm. in, in your body yep your body is like a symphony it works mm. like there's all these it's an orchestra there's all these like different instruments working together uh, to like power that. your body yeah yeah I like that. nice okay. analogy gains i know <laughs> so let's talk about the timing of your weigh-in we talked yeah, we touched, touched a little, little bit. bit yeah it's kind of what we recommend to all of our members uh we get a lot of members who are new who don't really have experience with uh, weighing themselves regularly a lot of people are actually afraid of weighing themselves that's mm -hmm. a really common issue that we experience but our best recommendation like i mentioned before to get the most accurate uh sort of representation of what you actually weigh is to weigh yourself first thing in the morning before you eat or drink anything because keep in mind like you know if if you have like, extra food in your body, that weighs more. Yeah, or like fluid. drinking water, mm -hmm. like a liter of water weighs 2.2 .2 pounds. Like we, we know, know that. that. Yeah, so if you drink a liter of water and then weigh yourself, you're going to be 2.2 .2 pounds heavier. Yeah. So, you know, these things also have mass. So we want to weigh yourself before you eat or drink anything. And then after you use the bathroom to kind of remove that, that water weight from, from urine. So that is going to give you sort of the most accurate representation. But again, this isn't perfect, especially if you're someone like we just spoke about who finds yourself eating really large meals right before you go to bed, you know, because sometimes when I'm working here and I'm like really busy and I kind of, you know, sometimes I just forget to eat. Honestly, I'm, I'm that guy. I don't really stress eat. I stress not eat. Yeah. So I'm the opposite unless uh, it's massive stress, like somebody died and then I have no interest. in uh, food. Yeah. But if it's a little bit, yeah, potato you're... chips or like <laughs> you've pretzels. seen me in there yeah. <laughs> one pretzel after another yeah. Mark wants to kill me. i've had it be the case where sometimes i wake up heavier than uh when i go home like i'll weigh myself when i go home and i'm lighter than when i woke up that morning yeah and it's only because of that you know i just mm -hmm. haven't been eating as much during the day yeah. and then you're when you're in that deficit you're burning through glycogen and again then you're releasing that fluid yep so it, it it does depend but if we had to put one statement out there that applies to everyone i think that's the safest way to go oh, absolutely is weigh yourself wait. first thing in the morning before you eat or drink anything after you use the restroom okay and that's a nice transition into the next thing Ooh, bowel movements okay i actually had somebody text me the other day and they lost like more than a pound from this so it was so uh, they were like should i edit my weight and i was like yes edit your weight yeah, like yeah. yeah so this is actually a good I'm glad you said this because this for me, I would hear like on Instagram and YouTube, people that I followed like in the fitness industry, they'd always say, weigh yourself before you drink anything and after you use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be more specific than that. Right. So I was like, man, I can't always wake up and go number two immediately. So do I have to wait until after right. I do that or just number one? In general, I don't. Yeah, me either. But you can always go back and edit your weight if this happens to you and then you realize... I was really backed up and I lost a lot of weight. Massive. <laughs> massive yeah. So that does play a role. You know, that also does have mass. And, uh, you know, if, if you are neglecting your fiber, that might be playing a, a little bit of a role. Your weight might be a little artificially or increased. Or if you're but, dehydrated. Or if you're dehydrated. Yeah. But yeah, you know, that that's another thing. You know, I don't really have much more to say about no. that.